welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to do a makeup haul for you guys. And this is going to be a Sephora makeup haul, as you guys can tell by the title. I bought items from their VIB system. So before we get right into the video, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. That would help me out a lot. So I have a couple of skincare items. So I'm going to start off with skincare first. And first item is the Tatcha Water Cream. And I've used this cream before. I had the mini version of it and I really liked it. So it just comes in the packaging like this and there's a paper over it. I haven't really opened any of these items because I saved it for the haul. So it comes in a paper like this, I guess just explaining what the water cream is. And it has a scoop. So it has a cute little gold scoop to scoop out any of the products. And you just open it like this. Oh, the thing that I do like, I was wondering why it was so hard to open. It has a little tab here, I guess, to tell if it was, like, open or not. So this is how the cream looks like. It's just a really hydrating moisturizer. And all the prices for these items are going to be listed in the description box down below. But I do know off the top of my head that this was, I think, $68.00. And spending $68 on a cream, I really couldn't bring myself to do it. And I waited for the sale, but even though it adds up to a lot for just a moisturizer, but I just really liked the way it felt on the skin. It just kept my face really smooth and hydrated, and I really, really liked it compared to a lot of other drugstore brands that I didn't like as much. So next up is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. And this is just like an everyday moisturizer. So this is how the outside looks like. And I'm not going to open it now because I'm not sure if I want to use it now because I have other moisturizers open right now. But I'm going to do a first impression makeup look soon. So I will open a majority of the items then and tell you my first impressions of. Next is the Laneige Dream and Glow Lip Sleeping Mask. And I do have their water sleeping face mask and I really do like it. I like how it makes your skin feel and for the price it was like $25 for like a huge tub like that so I think their prices are really good. So it just comes in a little container like this. It just says lip sleeping mask and I do see that it comes with a cute little brush to put it on your lips so you don't have to use your fingers so this is the, how the product looks like and this is the cute little brush that goes with it so this is how the product looks like and it does have a nice light scented smell to it so the next product that i ordered is the ufo acne treatment face oil by sunday riley and this is a product that i did order for my mom but I do use it sometimes too. I'm not going to open it because I'm going to give it to my mom and she can open it. It helps clear your skin, clear up acne, and just get rid of any blackheads you may have. And this is a bit pricey. I believe the size is $80. And this does have salicylic acid in it and it's for oily to acne prone skin. My mom doesn't really have acne prone skin, but she does use this every night and I have seen a big difference in her skin. Her pores are smaller. I feel like she has less blackheads. So I think this does really work. I haven't used this often enough to give my opinion on it, but I do use it here and there when I feel like my skin is just in really rough shape. So the last item for skincare is the Farsali Skin Tune Blur. And this is a primer serum. And I've always, always, always wanted to try these little droppers. You see them all over Instagram. So this is how the bottle looks like. And this is their newest serum. And this I'm actually going to open because I'm really excited to try it. Okay, so right off the bat, I could see it's like a milky sort of consistency. I'm just going to put a drop on the back of my hand. It seems a little thick in the bottle. I don't know if that's how it's going to perform on the skin. Off the bat, I do see when I'm closing this cap, it's kind of like slanted. So I don't like that because that will bother me. So this is how the product looks like. It looks pretty thick and milky, but I'm just going to blend it out. It does feel nice to the touch. It feels like velvet. I mean, I can't see if it does anything on my hand right now but I will try it in my first impressions video and you guys will see for yourself. I noticed from the other side of my hand, like here and here, I put the product here. It is way less textured. It feels very smooth. So moving on to makeup, the first thing I got was the Huda Beauty Topaz Obsessions Palette. So this is a new palette that Huda Beauty just released. This is basically a upgraded version of the small little mini palette she already had. So right off the bat, I can see that this palette has a lot of colors that I 
I would love. That's one of the reasons why I ordered these shades. I do think this is a great palette to travel with because it has a lot of the colors that you would need if you're going anywhere and you want to do like a smoky look or a very golden look. So that is how the colors look like. And I do think that the golds look really, really nice in the palette. And I am gonna swatch a couple of them. I am gonna swatch this gold shade. I'm gonna swatch that orange shade and I'm gonna swatch the brown shade. So that is how the colors look like. I really do like this golden shade right here. I did notice that it takes a little bit of working with. I think that the Huda Beauty shimmers work best when you apply them with your finger. And these two shades were good, but honestly, you cannot tell the true swatches unless you use a makeup brush and apply them to your eyes. So the next thing I got is a backup. I got two of these. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, and I'm sure everybody knows how this looks like by now, but I'm just going to take it out and show you guys real quick. So this is how the product looks like, and this is my favorite setting powder, and it's the only setting powder I really use. And the reason I got two of them is because I'm always running out of it because I'm always using this, so, so I figured why not stock up while the sale is going on. The next palette I got is the Too Faced Gingerbread Eyeshadow Palette. This is the newest eyeshadow palette that Too Faced has come out with. And this is for their like holiday collection. So this is how the palette looks like. And this palette does really smell like gingerbread and I don't really like gingerbread but it makes gingerbread smell good. So these are the shades. I do think this palette is very versatile and it does have a lot of shades that I would use. So I'm just gonna quickly swatch the shade Hot Toddy and I'm gonna swatch the shade Spice of Life. So these are the two shades. I'm not sure why Hot Toddy is showing up on camera as like a pink purple. It is more of a copper color and I do really like the way these two eyeshadows look so I'm really excited to use this palette. So next up is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade dark brown and I've never used the brow wiz. I've always used the brow definer and I really love the brow definer so I've always wanted to try the brow wiz and see how it works out for me. It's just a very thin brow pencil so I'm just gonna swatch it. So that's how it looks like. It's just a regular eyebrow pencil but it does have a really skinny point. As you guys can see here it does have a very fine tip to get a really precise brow. My current favorite brow pencil is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer. This is just a backup that I got because I know I'm gonna be running out of mine pretty soon. And so as you can see, it's just a thicker version of the Brow Wiz. So as always, one end has a spoolie and one end is the product. So as you can see here, the tip is like a triangle. So it is a little bit easier to put on your brows, but it is a little bit less precise. Next thing I got was the Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint in the shade Uncuffed. Now I do have the red Stunna Lip Paint and I really do like that one so I wanted to try and see how this would look. It has a tip like this and I really do like this tip. I feel like it lets you get into the creases of your lip. So this is how the product looks like. Off the bat it is a little bit watery but I really do like the color and I like how it looks against my skin tone. Next up is the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution Luminous Modern Matte Long Lasting Lipstick in the shade Pillow Talk. Now I've never tried any Charlotte Tilbury products but I did see a lot of good reviews on this lipstick. And I do really like this packaging. Look how cute that is. So this packaging is off the bat really cute. So this is how the lipstick looks like. And I do like the shape of the point of the lipstick. I feel like it makes the product look more luxurious. So this is how the product looks like. At first, it's coming out a little bit pink, but I'm sure with a darker lip liner, I can fix how pink it looks because I like more nude shades, not so pink. And in the lipstick, it didn't look that pink. So next item is the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Diamond Balm. And this is just a all over balm for your body. It's in how many carats, which is currently the only shade they have for this product. I hope it didn't like shatter in there. Oh no, it didn't shatter. That's just how the packaging is, like super glittery, but it kind of makes you think that the product shattered. So this is how it looks like. I'm not sure how glittery it's showing up on camera, but it is super shiny. Now you can use this product as a eyeshadow, 
as a highlighter you can put this all over your body it just depends on really what brushes you're using with this product but I did get this because you can use it in a lot of ways it's very versatile and I do think it's gonna look very nice on the skin I mainly bought this to put all over my body now the last item that I got was the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna two little matte moussels and this is her new lipsticks and I really do like this packaging it's like a little Christmas ornament it is in the shade spanked and Griselda and I really do like these two shades so this is how the product looks like and the reason I bought this is because I don't really go through lipsticks that often I just wanted to try two of them and see how they work out and on the back right here is how the shades look now I honestly don't think I'm gonna show you guys the swatches on these products because I don't want to have any first impressions on it I want to have like genuine first impressions when I'm doing the video so sorry about that but for now this is what you guys get to see I hope you guys really enjoyed the video and if you did please don't forget to like comment and subscribe that would help me out a lot and I'll see you guys in my next video